Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today. Hope you're all doing well. Today we'll start with an update on a moon rover that will become part of Starship launch in 2026. Starship is yet to go for its first flight, but the list of its passengers and payloads are increasing day by day. Recently, on the 31st of March, Astrolab, a startup based in Hawthorne, California, stated that they have reached an agreement with SpaceX to launch their flexible logistics and exploration, also called FLEX, rover on an upcoming Starship mission to the moon. The statement also makes it clear that the mission will be carried out by mid-2026. Jarrett Matthews, CEO of Astrolab, said, This is SpaceX's first commercial cargo contract to the lunar surface. Till now, SpaceX hadn't stated about their plans for carrying out this commercial Starship mission to the south polar region of the lunar surface. However, Matthew's statement, which says that Astrolab is just one of the few customers of that mission, confirms it to a certain extent. According to sources, the Flex rover more or less has the look of a car, though smaller than a standard four-door car. It has the capability to carry two passengers who can drive it manually with a speed of almost 15 miles per hour. On full load, the rover will weigh nearly about 2,000 kilograms. Other than onboard manual control, Flex can also be controlled by remote. On top of that, the rover comes with a robotic arm installed that can be used for operating the modular cargo space. Matthew clarified, This modular concept allows us to have adaptive utility. You land new implements or new cargo over time and it refreshes. It renews what you can do with the platform. That's our big differentiator. Astrolab's main purpose for building Flex is to carry equipment, supplies, and people across the lunar surface. And they claimed that Flex will be the largest and most versatile rover ever to roll across the lunar surface. Matthew stated that Flex can be a good assistant in building a permanent human presence on the moon and beyond. He said, ultimately, our goal is to have a fleet of rovers both on the moon and Mars. And I really think I see these vehicles as the catalysts, ultimately, for the off-Earth economy. He further explained that Flex Rover is the last mile mobility on the moon. You can kind of think of it like being UPS for the moon. And in this analogy, Starship is the container ship crossing the ocean. And we're the local distribution solution. Neither SpaceX nor Astrolab have revealed the details of the exact place where the Starship will land and deploy the rover. Matthew stated that, Because our rover can traverse up to a couple of thousand kilometers in a given year, we're less sensitive to exactly where we land. It's definitely optimized for the South Polar region because that's fundamentally where we think that the bulk of the activity is going to be. Reports say that less than a year before Astrolab had revealed plans for Flex, after performing tests of a prototype in the California desert, sources state that presently the rover design is in the preliminary design review stage where engineers are specifically working upon the robotic arm to increase its performance. One reason for developing Flex is to participate in NASA's upcoming Lunar Terrain Vehicle, or rather called LTV, competition with a hope to become part of NASA's Artemis program. As per sources, NASA will probably make a call for proposals for the lunar terrain vehicle by May 2023 that will be used by astronauts in the future to travel on lunar surface, as well as can be controlled robotically in between human landings. According to some reports, other than startups like Astrolab, there will be major aerospace companies in the LTV competition like Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. So it will be a tough fight for Astrolab. But founder and CEO Matthews is quite confident about his team's work and envisions that Flex will operate in the Red Planet in the future. He said, We're excited about that program. It's well aligned with what we're doing. We're certainly going to throw our hat in the ring. We've created a logistics system that can accommodate a wide variety of cargo. We expect that this approach will help establish a permanent lunar outpost on the moon at a lower cost and in less time than previously envisioned. While announcing the agreement with SpaceX, 
Astrolab also revealed that they've already signed several agreements to carry customer payloads on Flex's first mission. They further hinted to reveal the details of those customers later this spring. As for now, the 20-strong engineering team of Astrolab are taking care of the core functions of mobility, navigation, communication, and power, and that allows them to really focus on whatever they want to specifically achieve," Matthew said. Though nothing is disclosed regarding raising money for Flex, sources state that the company will raise money mainly through customer contracts for deploying cargo on the lunar surface. It's quite striking that Astrolab announced their contract with SpaceX only a couple weeks before Starship has planned to shot its first orbital flight, the same rocket on which Flex will become a part of in the future. So it makes us see how far SpaceX has progressed for their upcoming orbital flight. Recently, on April 1st, SpaceX moved Ship 24 to the orbital launch site. Prior to that, Booster 7 was lifted on the launch mount. At its Starbase facility in South Texas, SpaceX loaded its massive Starship rocket on Wednesday, April 5th, hoisting the prototype Ship 24 upper stage atop the Booster 7 first stage. Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, posted a video of the lift and its aftermath early on Thursday morning on Twitter, April 6th. The stunning seashore environment at the 394-foot tall, 120-meter Starship, which will launch shortly and will become the most potent rocket ever to fly, are both visible in the film, which appears to have been taken by a drone. As Musk indicated in his tweet, Wednesday's stacking was, in fact, preparation for Starship's first-ever orbital flight test. Starship preparing for launch, Musk tweeted as a sort of caption for the 47-second video. According to a number of rumors, SpaceX might target a try as soon as Monday, April 10th. However, there's no specific target date as SpaceX has not yet made one known and is reportedly still awaiting an orbital launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. So we'll just have to wait and see. An innovation that Musk believes will make Mars colonization and a number of other audacious spaceflight accomplishments economically achievable is the design of both stages of Starship to be fully and quickly reusable. SpaceX has already scheduled a number of deep space missions with Starship, despite the fact that it's not yet entered orbit. For instance, NASA selected Starship to be the first crewed lander for its Artemis moon mission, which seeks to set foot on the moon's surface near the South Pole in 2025 before establishing a facility there. A Starship trip around the moon was also purchased by Japanese millionaire Yusaku Maizawa, who paid for it along with a crew of eight artists. Furthermore, Dennis Tito, who made history in 2001 as the first paying passenger to reach the International Space Station, intends to travel on another starship, Circumlunar Journey, with his wife and additional as yet unnamed crew members. The intended dates for those private lunar trips are still being determined. Watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.